The next topic will show you the program to consume a service that returns an array of JSON object. For this lesson, you are advised to refer to the classes as stated on the screen. The next example is invoking a service named getTeachers using HTTP, which is done from REST client app. So, when the server receives this request, it will look for the declared mapping in the teacher service class and execute get teachers. This method returns a list of teachers in JSON array. We shall look at the codes in the REST client app. The first part of the code is the same as previous examples. We create a client, wrap the target URI in the web target. After that, we proceed with processing response that we get from the provider. In the first method, we convert JSON array to an array of objects. We use object from object mapper and invoke a method named read value. In read value method, we specify the JSON object that we have parsed to string. And we tell the method to convert the JSON array to an array of teacher. The method returns an array of teachers object and we assign to a variable named teachers array. Then we can manipulate the array, such as displaying each individual element. This is the continuation from the previous program. It shows two different approaches to convert JSON array to a list of objects. The second one here, convert JSON to an array of teacher's object. Then, we convert those array to a list of teachers using arrays.slist and assign it to a list named teacher's list. Then we display the value of each object using the simplified for loops. In the third approach, we invoke read value method from the object of object mapper. Within read value, we specify JSON array in string format. And we tell the program to pass JSON array to a list of teacher using type preference. Then we can display the list using the simplified array. The method that we have seen just now is implemented uh, at this particular met uh, at this particular line here. So we have three approach to display an array of JSON object and encapsulated in our own class, our own defined class. Okay, let us see. This is to display as an array, the usual array, and the other two are using list, but different way of uh, wrapping it into a list of object. Okay, so. I'm going to call this method from main. So let's go to main and command this. Okay, and run the application. Okay, 
So this is what we get. So this is what we get from the from the web service. The first method, second method, and the third method. This is just to show you on different method how we can process an array of JSON object. To run other application, sorry, to run other methods, you just need to uncomment it, save it, and rerun again. In the code, we have three different approaches to retrieve a JSON array and wrap it in different data structures. Now, choose the most convenient approach to you.